Hi, my name is Ian McGregor and I make the Professor Mac videos. And today I'm going to be explaining how I make those videos using the software that I use and the different ways in which I can create the images which go together to make the uh, final rendered videos which you see on YouTube. The sequence you've just seen is the latest video I'm working on which is the second part of a video which I released uh, last year where Professor Mack explained what gravity is, explained the fact that it's an attraction between objects. At the end of that video was the question which was, um, do you think there's gravity in space? Uh, we see astronauts floating about in space so the question is, do you think there's gravity there? And the video I'm making right now is going to explain that now to make the videos, I have to essentially create lots and lots of still images. For every second of animation, I have to create 25 separate still images. And the way I do that is to use a program, a software program, which is called Blender. So let's have a look at where you can get the software and then I'll explain how to use it. So here is a Blender website, and this is where you get the software Blender. It's at www.blender.org. And the, you can see right away the quality of the uh, output you can get from the software. Amazing models, um, beautifully rendered to, to show all the colors and the details. It's just an amazing piece of software. The key thing to note is that Blender is free and it's an open source 3D creation suite so it has all the tools you'll need to create uh, 3D art, um, st still, still images if you want to, to do that or of course the animation which is a type of thing that I use. So the way in which to get that is to go to the site, um, press this big button here and you'll get the latest version. The versions available are for, are for Windows, uh, also for the Mac, and also for Linux if that's what you want to use. So here we are back in Blender. Uh, we're looking again at that image and I'm going to now jump into a different view and you can actually see the models I use to create this particular image. So here we go. Here is the models inside the Blender viewport. Um, here we have it in the background um, a large blue ball which is the earth and I'll explain how I um, use that, that, that blue ball to create the, the image that looks like earth. If we zoom in we see Professor Mac. Um, he's standing there on the end of a robotic arm and that robotic arm is attached to uh, the space shuttle which was the space shuttle Professor Matt used uh, to blast into space at the end of the part one video. So what we do is we create these models and then we put color on them, we put some images on them if we wish to have uh, uh, something like uh, textures on there and, and that's indeed the way in which I, I create the earth. I've got what I call textures, it's, it's images essentially of Earth and these are pasted on to that large blue ball and then when we re render it, which I'll show you in a moment, then it creates a vision of Earth. Now in this scene there's some information I've hidden, so let me just switch this on. You'll see, wow, we've got a lot of extra um, inf things that have popped up here and essentially what these are, are lights. Because, so they're just like lights you use to, to light a room. Um, you need in the scene um, lights that, that, that then light the scene and show the colours up. So these are here. There's quite a few of them because we want to light it in a way that, that, sh that shows uh, the different areas of the, the image and it's not too dark. And we also have cameras in here. So these are cameras in which we look through those and take the pictures that, that create the still images. So if I just jump into that camera here, you can see that we now see... Professor Mac, we see the Earth, we see the arm, we see the shuttle. And if I just switch off some of those, those, those additional light and the lights for the moment, you can see it a little, little bit more clearly. So, how we create the models 
and I'll show you that now uh, by selecting the Earth model here and we jump into what we call edit mode you can see that in fact the Earth is a, a large uh, round object which is split into different little areas and these little areas create a mesh um, and this mesh is used to create the shape of the object. So that creates the shape and indeed all of the um, all of the different elements in the scene here have a mesh. So if for example I pop into um, this a part of the arm here um, and I just go into edit mode you can see that in this case we've got lots and lots of different elements there that, that, that come together to form the shape of the object. So how do we create the uh, earth, the look of earth? Well on that mesh that we saw um, I've essentially covered it with images which I got from the NASA website of Earth and then when I look through the camera and ask the program to create a high quality view of that you can actually see Earth. So let me just pop into the uh, camera and let's run a render. Um, now what happens when, this ha when, when we run this is that the program is looking at the different objects where they are, it's looking at the, the lights it's looking at the colours, it's looking at any of the um, textures that are placed on, on the objects and then producing a high quality image. So now you can see it's calculated some of that and it's now going to process that and you'll see slowly the image starts to build up. Um, so let's let, let's let that run a little bit um, and then we'll see the final image. Now it takes a little time uh, to do it, depends on the complexity of the scene, but you can see it's starting to build up the various elements. We have the spacesuit there that Professor Mac's wearing, and indeed there is some textures put on there. You can see that it's not just a white suit, you can see the little the granularity that goes in there to show the texture of the material of the spacesuit. We've also got um, some badges on Professor Mac's uh, space spacesuit he's got one in his arm there he's got one in the equipment at the front of the spacesuit um, and you can also see we've got some information around what's in this uh, box to his right hand side you can see it says some apples so you can imagine what's in there and that will form a key part of the experiment that he does in space we can see the arm the details of the arm you've got bolts that attach the different things of course these are modeled uh, as part of that meshing process that I showed you. And next time what I'll show you is how we are able to move the various elements of the scene. We're able to pose Professor Mack into different positions so that he can tell the story and explain what's happening and move his arms and move his head. Um, this arm as well, it's, it's all animated so I can take the arm and move it into any position and all the parts will move appropriately. So the scene's just about to finish now. We get um, the earth popping in. That's So that's that blue ball with uh, the images from NASA that are placed on it. Um, I've also got a glow effect. That's a different method. of. There's various methods of doing that. I'll show you how I did that. And of course, we've got the space scene behind there with the stars. So next time, I'll show you uh, about um, animation. I'll show you how I pose Professor Mac and how I move things around to start to produce some motion which then comes together to make the video. So until next time, all the best. <music>